Mr. Michael Conley. Nuclear power isn't the problem. The problem is with the reactors we've been using to produce it. If the reactors of Fukushima had the liquid fluoride thorium reactors, they wouldn't have had a disaster on their hands. Liquid fuel reactor technology was successfully developed at Oak Ridge National Labs in the 1960s. Although the test reactor worked flawlessly, the project was shelved, the victim of Cold War strategy. A lifter is a completely different type of reactor. For one thing, it cannot melt down. It is physically impossible for a lifter to melt down. And since it's air-cooled, not water-cooled, it does not have to be located near the shore or near any water source. It can even be placed in an underground vault. A tsunami would roll right over it like a truck over a manhole cover. A lifter uses liquid fuel, not solid fuel. Nuclear material dissolved in molten fluoride salt. Fluoride salt is like table salt, only different. It's a salt. You melt it, you put it in the thorium, you now have a liquid fuel. Conventional reactors are atomic pressure cookers. They use solid fuel rods to superheat water. That means there's a constant danger of high pressure ruptures and steam leaks. But liquid fuel can always expand and cool off. It's walk away safe. Because lifters don't use water or steam. Instead, they heat a common gas like CO2 to spin a turbine for generating power. So if a lifter leaks, it is not catastrophe. The molten salt spills out and cools off, quickly becoming an inert lump of rock. The entirety of the fuel can be recovered and put back in the reactor once the reactor is repaired. It does not go into the environment. Uranium is water soluble. It can be carried away by river or the moisture in the air. You're, but the fluoride salts in the reactor do not react with water or air. They are inert. It can be recovered. Big, big difference. Think about it. Lifters burn thorium, a mildly reactive, mildly radioactive material as common as tin. It's found all over the world. We're all, we've already mined enough thorium to power this country for 400 years. That is not an exaggeration. It's the waste of our rare earth element mines, which, by the way, are closed now because China is mining rare earth and refining it and selling it to us. We go hat in hand to them for our rare earth to run our missile systems. That doesn't sound very good to me. Lifters consume fuel so efficiently that they can even use the spent fuel from other reactors. Ma'am, the spent fuel from other reactors, lifters can burn them and utilize it as fuel. Spent fuel is unutilized fuel. Will these work? Let's build one and see. That's all I'm asking. Let's build one and see. And those that say we shouldn't build it, they should advocate us building it so we can make fools out of ourselves in front of the whole world. So let's just build one and see. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Conley.